It's Tuesday, January 8th, 2008. I'm James Kotecki, and this is Playbook TV. It's New Hampshire primary day. Whoopity doo Very early voting has already concluded in the tiny towns of Dixville Notch and Hart's location. Obama won both towns with seven and nine votes, respectively, while McCain snagged both the notch and the location with four and six votes. Now, these results don't really mean much, but seriously, who isn't going to report on a town called Dixville Notch? As for Hart's location, I guess that just kind of comes as part of the package deal. Next, as you know if you watch the news, Hillary Clinton almost cried on the campaign trail yesterday, presumably because of the enormous stress of running for president. I want to make sure I'm on the right side of this issue, so I've prepared a few different responses. Here's for if she loses tonight. Hillary Clinton's emotional breakdown at a crucial time in the campaign proved a fatal display of feminine weakness that the voters rejected. Okay, now if she wins tonight or does better than expected, I'll go with this one. Hillary Clinton's tears effectively humanized her campaign and attracted voters. But was that emotional display genuine or part of a broader political calculation? Oh, and uh, in case Obama ever cries, I'll do this one. Obama's misty eyes further endeared him to the packed crowd by showing a passionate, sensitive side rarely seen on the campaign trail. Finally, remember Rudy Giuliani? He certainly hasn't been getting a lot of attention here in the Granite State. A USA Today Gallup poll out yesterday had him tied for fourth place with Ron Paul. As Mike Allen prognosticates, if Giuliani finishes behind Dr. No here, his strategy of waiting until February 5th to pick up any delegates will be on thin ice. So the answer to the question of what will be Ron Paul's impact on this race could amazingly be knocking out the one-time frontrunner. Not bad for a candidate who loves to talk about monetary policy. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out Politico.com all day for unceasing New Hampshire coverage, including my own live streaming interactive coverage of the results starting at about 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And don't worry about me. No. Seriously, I'm fine. It's just sometimes very hard to put yourself out there on the internet against enormous odds every day. And Sometimes people tell you that they don't like your videos, and it just can be kind of a stressful process right here on Playbook TV.